Stanford University. When we started XLD Beef uh, in 2007, we set up three goals, and those goals are still valid. Um, so, and this is basically, I think, why most of you are still well, well, are here. So the first one is exchanging information, looking for information. Second one is building bridges. And the third one is developing. So um, going into more details, exchanging information. The first goal is to identify trends, commonalities, major roadblocks related to building extremely large data stores. So I think most of you are here either to tell others their stories or to listen and learn from others. The second goal of XLDB is building the bridges between different communities, between users, between vendors, between researchers, between scientific users and industrial users. And sometimes those bridges are fairly complicated and long. And the third goal, third goal is developing. We need tools, we need um, solutions, we need to know how to build those large data sets. And in some cases, those tools are pretty ugly, pretty basic, but still, we need all those tools in order to, to succeed. So those are the three goals. And I suspect most of you are here because, because you want to either learn or communicate with others or, or build or help build. So how did we get, um, how did we get to the um, number of people that, 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 that's, that's here at the conference? Um, so. Um, I think people are still looking for parking, to be honest, because we expect a totally full auditorium. So we started back in 2007, uh, around 2007. Um, we had about 50 people here at Slack in a different, different room. And it was all about discussions. We didn't have any talks back then. We were just having panel discussions. The same was true one year later. And then in 2009 as well, we went to France to Lyon next to VLDB conference. And again, lots of discussions, lots of time to socialize and communicate with people. Uh, in 2010, we opened, we realized that there is actually not enough um, space in the invitational workshop to, to accommodate everybody who wants to be involved. So we opened um, the conference. And we were oversubscribed as, he, as we are this year. And it was in different auditorium, 160 people. It was a huge success. And then for this year, I don't have a picture. I was actually thinking about having a picture, sneaking it in the last moment, but it was kind of hard. So um, let me just tell you that um, a couple of things that happened this year. So earlier this year, we had, uh, we had a satellite workshop in Europe, in UK, uh, which was very successful. And then, so this was the new thing we were experimenting with. And then this year, uh, we expect about 290, 93 people here at this conference. And to be honest, uh, we have a waiting list. We couldn't accommodate those people, another 50 plus people who wanted to come. And they were just waiting, and we just couldn't, because that's the large place we have here at Slack. So um, honestly, I was kind of surprised that there are so many people interested in this conference. So, so one message for you next year, register early. So if you look around, this is kind of the breakdown of the um, people attending this conference. A majority is from, uh, from industry, about 20% from science and then academia and vendors. Um, so this is basically the bluish is us are users and greenish are, are kind of solution providers. There's 1% missing here if you, if, you, if you start adding up. So um, this is basically the, um, the funding agencies, DOE and NSF. So if you look at the numbers comparing to past conferences, the number of people from industry is picking up, and which is kind of natural, because when we started the conference, we were bootstrapping it using the people we know, so mostly the science. And, and right now, when we open it, it's clear that the industrial users are very, very much interested, which is, which is, which is very good. But we, we will try to keep it um, balanced. So this year, focus. Uh, focus of this conference is practical solution. We were told very explicitly last year, we, 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 we had various surveys and we, we, were, we had discussion at the end, and people were very clear that they don't want to hear anymore about, I have a petabyte, I have two petabytes. They want to hear about what you are doing with this petabyte, how you are solving this problem, how you are managing this, how you are analyzing. So this is what we are trying to focus on this year. And you will see it starting immediately after my talk. 
there will be a panel, a discussion panel um, about practical solutions. So a couple of things about successes and failures in the past year or so. So the conference, the last year conference was a huge success and I think this one might be if we, if we try hard. Uh, there's, there's a lot of people, very good people in this room, so let's just make it happen. Lightning talks, we like experimenting with things. I mean, this, this whole conference, uh, the, the workshop when we started in 2007 was just an experiment, right? The conference last year was experiment, successful. Lightning talks, last year we introduced lightning talks and people liked it. They liked it very, very much and you will actually see we are strict about five minutes. If you are talking five minutes and that's it, the next speaker is coming in. So this is lots of fun. And so, so this year we had over 35 abstracts and we only could accept um, half of it. So there was a lot of competition, which was, I think, a good sign. Um, some of the failures, we tried forum. We didn't really succeed with putting up the forum well together, primarily because we don't have enough manpower to really keep it running and it's kind of hard to engage the community. So we will try to resurrect it and use it, especially during the conference, because there are some topics that will be very useful to just discuss um, in, in places like forum. So you are, uh, there's a link from the XLDB website uh, to the forum. So you are very much welcome to, to subscribe and join the discussion. We will be announcing it during various talks um, later on. Um, and we will be posting topics related to those, to those talks. And then the satellite workshop, so as I mentioned, we had one in Edinburgh um, earlier this year, and then we will, we will plan to continue with those in various places. So planned experiments, as I said, we, we like experimenting with things. So we are experimenting with three things right now. The first one is recording. So, so this conference is being recorded, videotaped, and we, will, we plan to publish on iTunes U, um, of course, if, if the uh, speakers agree. So, um, so this will hopefully help with people who couldn't attend, which we could not accommodate because of the limited spacing. And the second one, we are seriously considering introducing peer-reviewed papers uh, starting from the next conference. There's a lot, a lot of demand. Uh, a lot of people suggested in the past. We, um, we were a little bit afraid because we didn't have enough manpower and, and all that to pull that together. But we are kind of, I think we are getting ready for it. We are, as, as the community is expanding and, and the conference is, is growing, I think it's time to introduce it. So we will be talking about it throughout the conference a little bit more to get your feedback, how exactly you think we should, we should go ahead with that. But we are, we are leaning in that direction. And the third one is a satellite workshop in Asia. There is a big demand for, uh, for reaching out to the Asian communities. And I think, we, I mean, we've been trying for several years and right now there's a point where we have large enough group there that looks like um, we can lean on to, to put together a workshop there um, that would be in Beijing. An alternative is in, um, in Australia, so we have two options there and we will hopefully put together something for, um, for next year. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.